Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to discuss a very serious topic. It's a video I was going to do much later, but given recent events, I thought it'd be useful to do it now. I want to talk about pet parrot egg laying. Now I'm going to be specifically talking about it in the pet parrot setting and assuming that generally you are, don't, do not want eggs or they're unexpected, you don't know how to deal with them. We're going to discuss how to deal with them, what's involved with pet parrot egg laying and how to prevent it to some extent and what to do when it does happen. Parrot egg laying is not inevitable. There are things you can do to prevent it and none of these things are invasive or horrible or unnatural. It's just basically helping to manage your parrot's hormones, which I'll talk a bit about later. For some parrots, however, it will happen, especially if they are a prolific egg laying species. For example, cockatiels or budgies, they can lay an awful lot of eggs and it just will happen. And if it does happen, it's important to be prepared and know what to do, because if you do let it continue, it can have some um, pretty horrible consequences in the end. Really important to remember also that even if you have just a single solo female bird, they may lay your eggs. It can happen, you know, they may get hormonal um, with us. It may just be the season. It is something that can happen. And I know a lot of people seem to think that you just have to have a, a male and a female bird to have egg laying happen. It is not true, you can get eggs from just a single female bird on lots of different species. Again, it's more likely to happen if you have a prolific egg laying species that has to lay lots to increase the chances of survival in the wild, or it can happen to absolutely any single bird. Leading on from this, generally most eggs in the pet parrot setting will be infertile. That means they won't be viable, you wouldn't have had the magic happen. And that can happen even when you have male female pairings. They just won't know quite what to do. And it just happens naturally in nature. So sometimes, or most of the time in fact, these eggs will not be viable anyway. As I touched upon earlier in the video, egg laying, especially prolific egg laying, as in basically big clutches, does come with risks to health to our parrots. Um, there have been lots of horror stories. There is a big risk to your parrot's health, especially when they get older and if it's not managed at all. So it's something to be really, really mindful of. If your parrot is laying lots of eggs, and it's just, I've, I've, me and Sophie feel it's something to be discouraged because it's better for their health and it's better for our mental health as well. So before I start talking about what to do if your parrot actually does lay eggs and how to sort of manage that situation, I want to talk about ways to prevent it. And the best way to prevent your parrot from laying eggs is hormone management. And by that, I'm not talking about separating your male-female pairings, you know, denying them access to each other. I'm not talking about, you know, just being cruel to them. I'm talking about simply managing their hormones through things like diet, through preventing them accessing nesting sites, which isn't actually causing them any stress because as long as they're getting entertained and having a fulfilling life in many other ways, it should not impact their general well-being. Through sleep, through all the many ways you can help manage hormones. And I've got a video series on that. I'll link the first one in the cards right now for you to explore. I would highly recommend watching them. And managing parrot hormones is not unnatural. It's not invasive, we're not using any drugs or anything or anything like that. You're simply just helping them reach a sort of um, state of equilibrium in their environment. Because if you think about it, pet parrot egg laying is pretty unnatural in the first place in the home environment. They're trying to fulfill a biological impulse and they can't redo that effectively unless they're in the wild or in a different setting. So I feel hormone management is the best way to prevent it and it's the easiest way to produce less stress for you, less risk for your bird. So what do you do if your parrot does lay an egg? The most important thing to do if it lays an egg is not remove it. Leave that egg alone, let your parrot sit on it. The reason why is if you do remove it, it will encourage them to lay more and then you'll just be like basically lengthening the cycle of egg laying and maybe potentially increasing the clutch size unnecessarily. So leave that egg in there, don't do anything to it. Another piece of advice me and Sophie often hear is if you do take the egg away, take the egg away and you scramble it, you shake it and then replace it back in the nest. The problem with doing this is yes, you will scramble the egg or wherever else or that it probably will be infertile anyway, but that egg is probably going to rot after that and your parrot will be sitting on a rotting egg. You do not want to do that. It is bad for the health of everyone in the environment. Please don't do that. It's bad old school advice, it doesn't work. Instead of this, if you do want to replace the normal egg without scrambling or uh, destroying it, just get some small dummy eggs. You can get small plastic dummy eggs or depending on the size of your parrot from all sorts of different places worldwide. And all you do is you swap out that one egg for a couple of plastic dummy eggs instead. And that way your parrot will still sit on them. It will still get its sort of like um, breeding cycle fulfilled 
but it won't cause any harm or lead to any risks there. The reason we also recommend swapping one for two is it will potentially decrease the clutch size because your parrot will feel they've laid more eggs than they actually have, so the cycle will go quicker. It's also important to um, be respectful of your parrot during this time. Don't push them to do extra training. Don't hassle them or stress them by constantly interfering with what they're doing. Apart from obviously where it's necessary, where you have to obviously do cleaning or you have to change those eggs out and support their body. So that means a bit of extra calcium in their diet, which you can supplement naturally or you can provide natural calcium supplement during this time. And then maybe a bit of extra protein to support just generally their well-being, you know, because it is a stressful time for a lot of parrots when they're egg laying and you don't want any extra problems or their weight dropping too much suddenly. It's also important once the egg laying has stopped to drop that protein down because you don't want to be basically encouraging it by adding excess in the diet. But again, that's covered in my hormone videos. Just to summarize, egg laying may be a natural process for parrots, but I wouldn't say it's very natural in the home setting. The best way to prevent it is hormone management. Sometimes it will happen anyway, so you just want to take steps to mitigate the impacts on your bird, reduce the stress on their body, and make sure it's as stress-free as possible for everyone. Again, I have hormone videos, which I would highly recommend you explore. But in the meantime, that basically sums up this video. Any comments, happy to hear from you, but take care and have a really, really good day.